Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another how to sneak food into class video and I'm very happy to announce that we did reach a like goal in a previous video and as promised I will be giving away a box filled with snacks to someone from the comments. So congratulations to the kid Duda, you will be getting a box filled with snacks in the mail very soon. Remember guys that these giveaways were made possible by you and your amazing support so thank you for that. Now as far as the giveaways for this video, again at 2000 likes I will be giving away a box filled with snacks and at 12,000 likes the winner will get a brand new Xbox One. And to participate all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me which of these life hacks was your favorite and why. Best of luck pranksters and one last thing, please subscribe to this channel. Now let's get this video going. I love using crayon boxes to sneak food into class, it's always easy to do. For example here I have a crayon box which inside contains two smaller boxes of crayons. I'm gonna remove one to make room for my Takis which I will place inside. One of the flaps I will cut out and use it to cover up the opening from this larger tab on the back. This will help us hide the Takis if we fold it down. So you guys can only see half of the crayons which is good because the other half contains our Takis. Just close it up and while you're in class you'll know that you'll have backup for when you start craving food. Just open up the box of crayons. The next hack is very clever but you will need to get two pencil boxes such as these two right here. They don't necessarily have to be the same color, just the same size and shape. On one I'm gonna add some hot Cheetos inside but only on one side as the other side is reserved for my Takis. Once you get enough chips in there, close it up. I really like the lids for these pencil cases as they are see through which is what's gonna help us out a lot. Undo the lid from the other pencil box and place some supplies inside. Flip over the box with the chips and pop it into the lid that has the supplies. Use tape to keep both lids together, this is what it should look like. From a bird's eye view it'll look like a regular pencil box with supplies inside but if you open it the right way you will have complete access to your chips. Next up we are gonna sneak this entire bag of hot Cheetos into class and just like a previous hack that I showed you in this video with M&Ms we are gonna empty out this bag. Make sure that you get all the chips out as we are gonna be turning this bag inside out and this is what it should look like at this point. As you can see the inside has no logos, no color, it's just a plain aluminum color which is great for this. I'm gonna apply two small binder clips on the end and you guys will see why in a bit. Let's put the chips back inside the bag. Roll it up and keep it closed with another small binder clip. On the bag I'm gonna write the word supplies so that my teacher knows that I have school supplies inside the bag and they will not question the bag. The small clips will help keep the chips hidden inside a binder like so. To get to your chips simply undo the clip and unroll the bag. Simple as that. For this next method we're gonna be using a simple notepad like this one. I got this particular one at the dollar store and what I like best about this notepad is that the pages can easily be detached. So that's what we'll do to all the pages. Even though tearing off each page one by one is easy, what's even easier is if you actually use a pair of scissors like I'm gonna do so right now. Just make sure to get rid of every single page until it looks like this. At this point we are left with these cardboard covers, the spiral and the back which looks very thick and full from this angle. And we want all the other sides to look the same so that's why we are gonna create some fake pages and this can easily be done with some white foam board. Use the dimensions of the notepad to create these just like I did so right here. With hot glue we can attach everything onto the notepad. See we just created a secret compartment inside guys, so let's put something in there that we can eat while in class. Pop tarts is always a favorite of mine, but also Oreos will fit inside just fine. Get creative with your food, just don't be hungry in class. For this next hack we will need one of these whiteout correctors. These are perfect to stash some candy inside so with a little strength and effort on your end you can easily pry open this container, just open it up like I did right here. We are gonna gut it out as we want the inside to be completely empty so please remove any loose components. Our choice of candy for this method will be more nerds as these are pretty small in size. So fill up the whiteout container with nerds and then close it back up. 
At this point, we are done. To get to your nerds, you don't necessarily have to pry it open again. Just tilt it at an angle so that the nerds come out through the white outs opening. You might need to shake it a bit though. This is definitely one of the easier hacks in this video. Now get yourself a spiral notebook. The bigger the better as we are going to use the spiral as a secret compartment. Here I have some chocolate bars, a Three Musketeers, a Milky Way, and a Snickers bar. I also have a Slim Jim. See how easily you can tuck the Slim Jim inside the spiral? The only downside of this is that it can easily be spotted. So to fix this, we are going to have to cover it up with some masking tape. Now you can't see the inside of the spiral, so put your chocolate bars in there and save them for when you get hungry during the day. Just slide them out and enjoy. We're gonna be using a large box of crayons. The bigger the better because that way you'll be able to take more snacks into class with you. So for example here I have a big box and what I like about this box is that the inside you have two smaller boxes and that is perfect because we'll only be tampering with just one. So let's flip this box upside down and open it from the bottom. Let's pull out the box of crayons and empty it out. Just know that you'll be sacrificing all these crayons. Basically we'll be trimming them down as well as the smaller box. So let's get started with that one first. Here I have marked it. I only need about an inch of it from the bottom so that's what I'll be cutting and for this example I'm using my trusty blade like always. This is what we're left with guys, the rest you can dispose of. As for the crayons, they will also be trimmed as I already mentioned. Basically we will be cutting the tips because those are the ones we will need. This is the most time consuming part of this method. You can use blades or scissors, whatever works for you best. As I'm cutting them, I'm putting them inside the smaller crayon box. Once filled up, you can put the crayon box inside the big one with all the crayon tips. It should be quite snug, especially if you use double sided tape once you slide the box in to keep it in place. So let's flip over the box and open it. As you can see inside, now we have our secret compartment ready. It's plenty of room to store some food inside. My snack of choice for this method will be some Takis. So I'll open the bag and stack as many Takis in there as I can. I was able to fit this much in there guys, so now I'll be able to close the flap and the crayon box will look as normal as always except that now it has chips inside. So next time you're in class doing your work and you get hungry, simply open your crayon box and the chips will be right there at your disposal. If teacher approaches you, simply close up the box and that's it. Open up the box from the top and look. Nothing to see here, it's just a regular box of crayons. There's no reason for your teachers to suspect anything. At this point you'll be able to calm your hunger when you're in class. So now let's move on to our next one. What I have right here is a box of M&Ms and this particular box contains peanut butter M&Ms. Not that it matters though because this hack works with any M&Ms. The purpose of this is to sneak these M&Ms into class without getting caught and here is what you will need to pull that off. A basic pencil sharpener, the bigger the better, this one I got at Walmart for 47 cents so if you try this hack out you won't have to spend much on it. What I like about this sharpener is the fact that it has a large enough compartment to store candy in there and of course our choice of candy will be M&Ms. Remember though that it's best if the sharpener is clean or brand new that way you won't have to deal with cleaning it up. I'm gonna fill it up with a bunch of M&Ms. As you can see it's pretty packed and now all I have to do is close it up. See if you take this into class as it is right now, it will be suspicious. So I strongly recommend that you don't get a clear sharpener. Now the way that I'm gonna deal with this issue is pretty simple. I'm just gonna cover it with some masking tape. No one will be able to see inside. See I'll even write my name on it so people know that it's mine. And that's it guys, just keep it handy on your desk or wherever you keep your supplies. When you get hungry, simply pop it open and your M&Ms will be right there. You can eat them one by one or get them all at the same time, whatever works for you. Here I have a can of adhesive spray. I got this at the dollar store so it wasn't super expensive. Basically what we're gonna do here is create a secret compartment within. There's plenty of room inside the cap, but safety first guys, so let's remove the nozzle and block off the tube with tape so our candy remains clean and glue free. I'm going to fill the cap with some M&M's Minis, about halfway will do. While the can is upside down, I'll pop it into the cap. See, it wasn't so hard, right? Once you get hungry and you want to retrieve your candy, just flip the can upside down and open it. If you don't flip it upside down before you open it, you could end up with a messy desk and possibly detention if you get caught. 
This next method works with nerds or smarties. These are similar to sweet tarts but smaller. Just take a stapler, which happens to be a school supply, and open it. Remove all the staples and replace them with some candy. Close it up and that's it. No one will know that there's candy in there until they try to use the stapler. Again, you can also sneak some nerds using the same method. Pretty much this works with any miniature candy. There you guys have it. Simple yet very clever ways to sneak your favorite snacks and candy into class using everyday school supplies without getting caught by your teachers. Now guys, at the start of this video, I gave away a box of snacks and I also announced two new giveaways. Once this video gets 2000 likes, I will choose a winner from the comments and that person will get a box of snacks. And at 12,000 likes, the winner will get a brand new Xbox One X. And to participate is very simple. Just like this video and leave a cool comment below. That is it. Good luck guys, I'll see you pranksters in my next video, thanks for watching.